What's going on everybody? Today we've got another project that we're going to be working on, but before we get to that project, I just wanted to say how amazing my wife is. A lot of you will comment on my videos and talk about how helpful she is and how she's always helping with my projects. Well, yesterday was no different. While I was working on the shark shed and trying to get the door finished so that we can button that thing up, without me asking, she basically took the mower and just mowed the whole lawn. I mean, she just does an amazing job with everything that she does. That brings us to today's project. While she was mowing and while she was cleaning up back here, she noticed that there is like this film, like this sticky film on everything back here. Let me show you what it looks like. So I don't know that you can see on the table here, but it does have some like spots and stuff like that. That's where you can kind of see it. But then when you get over here to these Adirondack chairs, you see like all these patterns. And some of that's water because it did rain last night. But we thought that maybe it was coming from some of these trees. Now, none of these trees belong to me. They belong to my neighbors behind me. But we were trying to figure out, well, which tree is it that is causing this to happen? And it's pretty much getting on everything. It's, got, it's gotten on this, uh, on this table. We see how it's got like all that stuff on there. And then also on this chair over here. And this one's really, really bad. So I did a little research. We were thinking about trimming back one of the trees. Well, it turns out it's something a little bit more grosser than a tree. It turns out that it is aphids that are in the tree and they're secreting this stuff called honeydew. It's basically a sugary substance. It gets a lot grosser than that and I'm not gonna get into it. But in the end, that's what's causing the problem. What makes it even worse is that when you look at like the table here, this is a marble table, you see all that black stuff right there? Well, that is a form of mold that is actually growing on that sticky secretion. Not good. So what we're gonna do today is we are going to have to bleach everything and then I'm gonna get my pressure washer out and we're gonna clean it off because number one, it's disgusting. And number two, we've got to just deal with it because we can't sit on anything. Like my wife walked out here with the dog the other morning and she said it was, a, it's literally sticky. That's why they call it honeydew. And then what we'll do is in the fall, we'll just have to keep up with it. But in the fall, we're going to have to start trimming these trees back quite a bit. Because the problem is that it's getting on everything. And especially when we talk about the shark shed, I don't want the shark shed to be full of junk on there, but... I think it's a specific tree back here, so we'll have to figure out which one. But we've been meaning to trim all of this stuff back a little bit off the property so we don't have as many leaves. The other thing is this also explains why we have so many leaves that are on the ground. So it turns out these aphids, as they're feeding on the leaves, they're actually killing the leaves, which is what's causing it to fall down. I actually had a comment in one of the videos, or maybe it was one of the TikTok videos or something like that. Somebody was saying, hey, it looks like you're losing a bunch of leaves. What's going on? And that explains why we're losing so many leaves as well. So we're gonna have to deal with it. The one thing that we could do is, is uh, spray it with some sort of herbicide. They said you could do uh, water and soap will kill these aphids. For now, we just gotta clean up this mess. And we're basically gonna take care of the whole patio back here today. And then also on the side of the house where my garbage cans are, that's a whole nother mess because we're getting all kinds of flies and everything else over there. The joys of home ownership in an older home with a lot of trees. We love the trees, we love the shade, we love that it's cooler than everywhere else, but this is a problem that we're gonna have to deal with on the long term. So let's get to cleaning. What I did was I took a squirt bottle like this and I did a 20% bleach mixture with water. Don't wanna go too heavy on the bleach, even though I do wanna make sure that I kill any mold and fungus that's growing on any of the furniture out here. Some of the covers may get a little bit discovered, discolored, but I'm okay with that. I just want this stuff cleaned. So let's get to cleaning this crap off. So 
how do we know for sure that it was mold? Look at that. All the color is like bleaching out and this chair is almost completely clean because we killed all of that. And then this one is like slowly changing colors as all that mold is dying from the bleach. So we will uh, let it sit here for a little bit, let it all die off, and then uh, we will take the pressure washer while I'm setting that up. This should all pretty much be bleached out and then we'll be good to go. definitely a lot cleaner as you guys can see there is not any of the black stuff left on there uh, these chairs are pretty old so I mean they are stained and everything else but it is a lot cleaner and a lot less nasty um, I actually cleaned the floors as well and I was able to pressure wash all of this uh, you can see where the, some of the lines were I missed but at least it's a lot cleaner I don't have all that gunk everywhere yeah that's pretty much a uh, gross mess to have in your backyard all over your furniture and everything else but but it is what it is at least you got to claim we know what it is i may put like some soap inside of the pressure washer and then that way i can spray it up into the trees using this stuff and since I can't reach the trees just with the bottle I decided to put it on my paint pole which gives me a little bit more reach to get up into the trees so worked out pretty well but I think the ultimate fix is going to be to trim back these trees in the fall don't want to do it right now it's just too hot and I don't want to really hurt the trees I just need to get them off the property make it a little bit easier for me that brings me to today is actually Sunday and I'm actually about an hour away from doing a live video you'll see this video much later after the live video but I figured I can tell you guys why I'm doing a live video or why I did the live video since you know it's in past tense yeah it's past tense anyway uh, the reason why I did it was because I want to announce a couple things number one I was able to finally trademark the lawn shark so that brand is now protected under trademark and obviously I still have to defend it, but pretty exciting stuff. It's taken me about a year to get it all done. So I'm pretty excited that I have that trademark in place now. Uh, you know, nobody's really competing with me, but you never know down the road. Uh, I really like the brand and I want to continue to protect it. I want to continue to use it. And so that was, uh, that was the big announcement. So pretty excited about that. And then the other announcement that I was going to make was that I'm actually going to split off all of my home improvement projects into another channel. Uh, it's already in place and it's called the Shark Shed, uh, mostly because most of the big projects that I'm doing are related to building that Shark Shed. I'm actually gonna move all of my Shark Shed videos off of this channel. And I'm doing it for a lot of different reasons. Number one is because I wanna separate the types of projects that I'm doing from one to the other. But mainly it's because I think it's actually hurting my algorithm with YouTube because I'm not sticking to lawn related videos on this lawn channel when I do that that sort of thing. And I think it's okay if you do them every once in a while, but it, lately I've been doing like every other video is related to the, the shark shed and I think that YouTube is actually hammering me for it. So I'm not getting as many views. It's definitely not pushing me to any, any new audience. So I'm gonna go ahead and separate that. So as you guys follow along on the shark shed build, if you don't mind, go out there to the Shark Shed channel. I will put a link to that channel down below. I'll also put it up in the eye if I can. And that way, if you want to go out there and subscribe to it, I would really appreciate it. Definitely help out with the numbers. And also, if you're interested in following along for the Shark Shed itself and the build and any other home improvement projects for this house, that's where it's gonna be. 
Uh, I really enjoy doing those types of projects. I love woodworking, I love building things. So that's where all of that's gonna be. And then I will stick to the lawn related, lawn and garden, uh, you know, any of those types of things are gonna be on this channel, continue to be on this channel. Um, I'll try to, you know, let you know when there's stuff to go check out over there and vice versa. If you wanna check out that channel, I'll put the link down in the description. And I said, like I said, I'll put it up in the eye and that way you guys can, can go find it. But uh, anyway, that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I didn't enjoy having to deal with it. I'm glad that we figured out what it was. And then now we just have to maintain it through the rest of the season. Hopefully they'll subside a little bit here until fall, but for sure, for sure in the fall, I'll get a tree company out here to trim everything back. All right, that's a lot going on right now. I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, I would really appreciate a like. And if you haven't subscribed and have earned your subscription, if you could please hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna be notified of future videos, go ahead and hit that bell and you will be notified when I put new stuff out there. Have a great week, everybody. And we will see you on the next one.